Hey everyone, today we're looking at Genesis Mine, the web version, which starts at age one uh, with zero knowledge, actually at zero to age zero. And the only knowledge that it accumulates is through the perplexity searches that it performs, ultimately trying to answer a, a final uh, ultimate question. Here in this case will be the Bitcoin price at the end of 2024. This is not financial advice, by the way. This is for information and research purposes. And as it grows, it actually forms a mindscape with beliefs, values, and knowledge. Uh, this indicates that learning progress is in, still in effect. And it is designed to give final answers uh, every so often and at the end. And this is the final answer that it has given. And we can actually uh, download uh, at any point the uh, JSON that it has given. For example, we can, I can download the uh, H2 JSON and this will be saved to uh, your computer if you need it. And you can also download the uh, global, uh, download the global JSON. Let's take a look at how they look actually real quick. Uh, so this is the global JSON with its beliefs, values, and knowledge, and with the final answer. And this is how the uh, H3 Mindscape looks like at that point. So essentially, it progresses through ages. These are the questions that it's asking. It's currently designed to ask three questions per age, but you can increase it up to 20, and you can set the final age up to 100. You can use uh, GPT-40 Mini, GPT-40, or O1 Mini for this process. And you can also get final answers every N age. It will give that, so for example, in this case, we set it to three. So it gives a final answer at age three, plus at age five, as it accumulates more knowledge and information. So we actually look at the um, values and beliefs that it accumulated. It actually changes over time. Uh, at age two, for example, uh, see, it, it, at age two, its knowledge was quite limited. At age five, its knowledge has grown uh, quite more, uh, much more comprehensively. So the code files for this project is available at my Patreon. Link will be in the description. You can also, I also made a Separate video about the terminal CLI version of this. You can find this at my website, ecohive.live, or at my YouTube channel. And if you're a patron, you can download the source code to any of my projects uh, just by clicking this right here, and it'll take you to my Patreon. Yeah, so uh, let's try this with another question. You can ask it philosophical questions, such, such as what is consciousness, and let's start the learning process. Uh, we, I accidentally said 33 to questions per age. Uh, we can change it to five, actually. We are performing perplexity searches and get final answers every three and start the learning process. We are also in the background saving the results, uh, the final questions for uh, each age, when, for, I mean, whenever it is generated. There's also a CLI version for this. So we will be reviewing the code, although if you want to download it for convenience, it's available at my Patreon. Uh, it runs at CLI. So we'll uh, take a look at this. And I have refactored it to work uh, in, uh, with the web version. This is a fast API app that I built using Cursor and the new Sonnet. And actually the new Sonnet is amazing. So. And I have a thousand X cursor course uh, if you wanted to learn how to use it better. So as each question is asked and the answers become available, like see if at age three, this question is still processing, but when the answer becomes available, it will dynamically appear here. Uh, and if you just give it a second, actually. Yeah, see this first question and second question became available. They all became available. Once the questions became available, it updates its beliefs, values, and knowledge. And then whenever it is time to generate a final answer to answer this question, it goes ahead and does it. Here at H3, it did generate a final answer. In summary, it says consciousness is a complex, multifaceted phenomena that is gradually understood through integration of different scientific, philosophical, and technological perspectives. 
It is shaped by a matrix of neural, perceptual, and cognitive processes demanding a... Okay, it's moving on, so we missed the last part, but it's still available at age three. You go back, you can read it. It says, demanding a comp comprehensive approach to fully appreciate its depth and implications. So to illustrate this, uh, actually, I can go ahead and uh, run the agent begins. Because if you look at it, this is a simulated mind, and it is designed to actually pretend that it doesn't know anything. So it, the attempt is to try to not use any of its uh, internal knowledge, but only allow it to grow and learn from perplexity searches. So it says, when we say you're a simulation of a mind which doesn't currently know anything, act accordingly. Unless you learn something, you start with a blank slate. Uh, and when we use it uh, like this, for example, if I go ahead and run this script, and if I were to ask it, what is two plus two, something so simple like that, it says, I don't know what two plus two is. What is the capital of France? Uh, and it still says, I don't know what the capital of France is. Now, if I say two plus two is, let's say four. And now if I ask what is two plus, oops, uh, two plus two, then it answers, now that I know two plus two is four. So it is designed to uh, simulate this. Okay, it's just a simulation, but it's a useful one perhaps. Okay, uh, so this is how it works. Uh, like I said, the code files will be available at Patreon. It has actually completed all five ages. Uh, we can actually get a final uh, answer to this consciousness, an intricate evolving const construct. Yeah, so you can read it. It's right here. You can download it from the web app. Uh, and yeah, you can also input your uh, API keys through the web app, but it automatically detects it from the system variable. So now let's go ahead and review the code. But before we begin reviewing the code, I would like to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. I've been, uh, you know, coding AI related projects for two years now. I actually have over 350 projects. I just have to update this. I keep forgetting, but uh, you can find all of them at my website and also at my YouTube channel. By becoming a patron, you'll have instant access to all the source code for this. I mean, I try to explore interesting and fun and useful projects at all times. So having access to this, my patrons love it. They can actually quickly modify and make it their own. You'll also get access to my 1000X Masterclass Cursor course, which is 26 chapters of building full apps over 18 hours of uh, over uh, currently actually I'm going to add a new chapter and it's going to become over 18 hours you can watch the first two chapters for free now you can preview uh, any uh, other chapters for two minutes the earlier chapters uh, so it, as cursor updates I try to use its features but uh, I think they're all very useful I highly recommend it and uh, yeah so let's now dive into coding Oh, but if you wanted to get in touch with me one-on-one, -on -one, I also have consulting tiers. Take a look at that in my Patreon as well. So let's begin by uh, reviewing, actually. So when you download the code, the CLI version will be available as well, but we will be reviewing the Genesis Mind Web uh, code. We won't be going over the JavaScript so much because that is just some technical stuff and it's very long, 500 lines of code. I will scroll over it just in case if you want to review it. And index.html is quite long too with a lot of uh, styles, but essentially it is just, uh, you know, placing things in the right spots. I'll sc scroll through this real quick and get this out of the way. Yeah, it is just organizational. It did use quite a lot of CSS. The new model is very good with CSS, by the way. Uh, check it out. So let's jump to Genesis Mind Web. Uh, all the requirements are listed here, along with the README, tries to explain it. And uh, we begin, we also uh, import logging for uh, logging information. We define a learning agent class with all these attributes, such as age, ultimate question, number of questions. We initialize beliefs, values, and knowledge to empty dictionaries, previous questions to a set, because uh, we would like to actually uh, get uh, AI to generate new questions each time. 
So we have a generate questions method, uh, which is going to generate questions based on current state. Here it's it's prompt is you are this year's old and know only what is in your current state. Generate this many questions to learn more about the world only with the purpose of answering the following question. That is the ultimate question. That is the driving force of the agent desire. That is uh, that at least we're trying to simulate that the current state and we pass in the current beliefs, values, and knowledge. We pass in the previous questions and then we ask it to generate new unique questions that haven't been asked before. And we make a call to our model, return the content, parse it and all that, and return the new questions, make sure that we are checking for errors. And updating beliefs, values, and knowledge takes some new beliefs, new values, new knowledge. Uh, we update those beliefs with new, new ones. Uh, it actually updates the whole thing entirely at each uh, cycle. Final answer uh, is uh, generating a final answer based on current state. Here is prompt. You are now at the age of final age of the, however many. Based on your beliefs, values, and knowledge, answer this question, the ultimate question, the current state. Uh, provide a direct personal answer based only on your accumulated knowledge. Format your response and markdown using appropriate headers, lists, and emphasis where relevant. So. Feel free to modify this. You know, uh, obviously, this is this is the most important part. Uh, how you want it to answer, uh, exact? Maybe it should provide an exact answer. For example, sometimes it can be you can provide uh, approximate answers. You can't actually change that. Correct. Uh, your let's say your answer must be exact for the for the posterity. Let's say. Okay, uh, and we have a search agent which is going to use perplexity. We're just going to call uh, perplexity in parallel and get all the answers. We have changed the system message to say perform rigorous research and provide detailed answers. We are also using the large online model. There's also a huge and small model. This this is the seventy billion model, it's a seventy billion parameter. If you use the small, that is the 8 billion variant. And if you use the huge, that is the 4 or 5 billion variant. The larger the model, more expensive it will be and slower it will be, but quality will matter as well. Quality will change as well. But perplexity search overall through the API is not uh, super expensive. Processing questions, process multiple questions at once. Then this is, we use AsyncIO, we generate the tasks to get answers and call AsyncIO and gather on it. So Mindscape Architect is uh, going, to going to construct the Mindscape. So it takes in the answers, current beliefs, current values, current knowledge, construct updated Mindscape. So it updates it, and sorry, it logs it. Here is, it's prompt. Is a Mindscape Architect construct a complete mindscape of beliefs, values, and knowledge based on current mindscape and new information. Analyze the current mindscape and the new information. Create a comprehensive new mindscape that reflects the agent's current understanding. Incorporate relevant information from the new answers. Modify or remove existing entries if they're no longer accurate or relevant. Add new entries as needed. Ensure each category, beliefs, values, and knowledge has at least three to five meaningful entries. Yeah, you know, you can modify this. I think saying this actually makes the beliefs remain at five, three, at least three to five. I think it limits it to five. Uh, you know, it's up to you. You can change this. Turn the complete mindscape as a JSON object like this. Each entry should be descriptive and reflect the agent's current understanding. And we make the call and remove the markdown formatting if present, uh, parse it, and return it. Okay, to the front end. Extract Mindscape uh, is going to ex extract section, which is this method, which is going to, I think, look for, uh, you know, uh, you know, some. It's going to bash the patterns. I believe for the triple, uh, triple, sorry, triple backticks JSON because sometimes it can do that. So that's for you know uh, just to make sure it works. So. Other than that, the JavaScript is going to, I'm just going to scroll through it real quick. It's going to just handle everything that is uh, arriving here. It also uh, stores the local to local storage, the API keys, if, uh, if, if it's inputted through the web interface. It uses WebSocket connections and it updates the progress uh, age by age with a progress bar. 
and also it, it shows, of course, all the uh, newly generated content, such as the beliefs, knowledge, uh, and uh, values, along with all the questions and answers. See, it just updates those sections. Uh, and also it handles yeah. all of the input fields that are on the front end. Okay, so, and this is it. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, if you're enjoying my content, you can find many more at my website, echohive.live. And if you're interested in coding uh, really fast, I highly recommend Cursor. Uh, whether you want to, uh, you know, watch my Cursor course or not, you, I highly recommend you start coding with Cursor. It's bar none, the best option out there. But if you wanted to jumpstart, do sign up with my Patreon. Get all the that you can. Uh, 26 full app building walkthrough videos over 16 hours of content, such as how to build full stack apps, interesting market research app, multimodal rag system. I try not to do the cliches. I mean, I have I actually try to build whatever I think is useful and fun. How to build a Grok chatbot, how to build OpenAI batch API coding walkthrough. I try to cover a diverse uh, set of apps that I can think of, how to build automatic persona generators. So, uh, you know, you, you have a diverse set of skills, like such as how to build a memory system for LLMs, how to build a writing assistant. And the latest chapters actually include, if you jump over there, uh, how to build writing assistant with evaluation. This is really great if you want to uh, use an eval system on your work. All one tool calling research agents. So all one doesn't have function calling, but we try to simulate that. Yeah, so uh, this is really useful. And if you'd like to talk with me one on one, if you need any help getting started with coding with AI tools with Cursor, if you need help with your project, uh, I have some consulting tiers at my pa Patreon. Check those out one hour per month and three hours per month. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you uh, next time.